Man, what's going on everybody? You guys already know who the boy is. We did the Windows XP Revisited last week, I think, and you guys really liked that. And it was kind of like unorthodox for me to do a Windows style video because I never really did those before. And I figured, you know what, a lot of people loved Windows XP, but for some reason, a lot of people hated Windows Vista. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna download the four gig file to kind of relive what a lot of people who are, you know, I guess another generation of me, pretty much what they had to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Again, this is through a virtual box. As you can see, the virtual box is a little laggy, so I'm not really going to talk too much about the performance, but more so about the features of it. So right now, Windows is fully installing. It took a minute, but the interesting thing is, is that this was pretty much the successor to Windows XP. Obviously, you guys already know that, and these stupid birds are outside. They're super annoying. But I think from a bird's eye view, I have never really used Windows. I maybe used it like maybe like once or twice, one like back in the day. But the biggest thing and the biggest change that I know of, again, I'm ignorant to this, is the way this thing looked. The way Windows Vista, you know, the UI elements of it. Um, I kind of see this being like, to put it in the layman's terms or whatever that phrase is, like to switch from like Android KitKat to like Android Lollipop because I think the material design that I brought was pretty crazy. Also the same thing with like iOS, iOS 6 to iOS 7, pretty big refresh and change. iOS 7 was really not that good in terms of like the fluidity of it and the bugs it had. And I kind of think the same thing with the Windows Vista from what I know. So again, I'm not going to talk about the performance too much, but we're going to be talking about, you know, just the features and everything it brought. <laughs> All right, so it took a minute while we're back in action. And of course, it's going to take a minute for us to actually boot into the system. I saw the same exact thing like last time when I did the Windows XP thing. So many problems I ran into. It was kind of annoying, but they were all pretty much my fault. So I apologize to VirtualBox, to Windows, to Microsoft for being an idiot. All right, so we're back into the setup and I'm, okay, completing installation. And just from the bird's eye view, and I've said that like three times, of me just using it right now, I can definitely see the big improve and the big, you know, just the, update that they did in terms of the way the system looked because this definitely looks more similar to Windows 7 which apparently was really really amazing and I had a really good time using it. That was probably the main system that I used when I was growing up. A little bit with Windows XP in the beginning but Windows 7 was one that I used constantly and this pretty much looks exactly almost like Windows 7 in my opinion. But again I have not even used it so far so who knows. Alright we're back into it. I had to change the setup because it was super annoying. So now I'm going through the actual setup of this. And as you can see, like I said, the virtual box is super laggy, but we're going to get through it. And this is pretty much the setup. And that is that is exactly the same thing as Windows 7, in my opinion. Again, I'm not that smart, so it's just my educated assumption. <laughs> and I hope you guys heard that little ring up thing. And as you can see, I installed the Windows Vista business. I honestly didn't need to do that, but I'm feeling super extra today, so I had to do it on them. All right, so we're already into it. This is this is good stuff. And hopefully I can connect to the internet. I got some comments last time saying that I was doing something wrong or maybe it was already connected. But I guess we'll just go ahead and see that first. So again, like last time, the battery is already kind of connected to to the battery on my MacBook, which is cool. I didn't know that was going to sync up before, before Windows XP, but that's a really cool little feature. So as you can see, you can see what we're running these things on. I set four gigs of RAM for this thing. Um, and I guess these are just the same specs for my MacBook. And this is, I'm assuming the control panel, okay, the system and maintenance, the welcome center. And you know, I'll be honest, Windows 7, I know I talked to Windows 7 30,000 times. But that was a pretty big upgrade even from this, from first eye glance. Because as you can see, these icons are pretty much the same as Windows XP. Maybe they changed them a little bit, but it looks almost exactly the same in my opinion. I guess we can go ahead and show more details and see what's going on here. Don't know what just happened there. And I guess this is just a little bit more information on what we're working with. Let's go ahead and hop out of this. And this is one thing right here that I, I remember very vividly of Windows Vista was these little widget things. And I think they stay there forever, I guess. And I'm assuming you can move them around maybe. Oh yes, you can. It's super laggy, but again, this is not a Vista problem, I don't think. But it's weird because Windows XP seem to be working pretty well. And we can add more widgets too. And let's see what they got. We got calendar, clock, contacts, CPU meter. That's pretty interesting. Let's actually see what this is about. Oh, and you drag and drop it. This really reminds me of like the old Motorola UI on their Android phones, whatever they had before. Picture puzzle. <laughs> Man, this thing is super laggy. All right, let's go ahead and mess with this puzzle thing because it seems to be the most important part. Oh, so you have to click it. Okay, so you click the icon and you can move it. This could possibly be where Microsoft spent most of their time was developing this game. So, all right, interesting. Let's go ahead and hop out of this. I guess we have a couple things down here. I don't know if I'm connected to the internet or not. Okay, let's go into the start panel. I'm pretty similar. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go into the control panel or whatever it is. I think computer maybe. But this got a pretty big update too. I mean, from Windows XP. Again, you know, even though I use Windows my whole entire life, I'm not too familiar with like the updates per thing. But let's go to the control panel. Let's see if we can connect to the Wi-Fi. Again, I don't know like what the whole protocol is with this. 
Let's go ahead and go to Internet Explorer. I can't seem to figure this out. I don't know why I'm being so dumb today. And surprisingly, the internet does actually work. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube. And I don't really get that because the internet wasn't working last time. So I don't really understand what was going on there. Oops, your browser is no longer supported. Man, that is actually kind of ignorant. How dare YouTube not support Windows Vista? I'm sure there's still some people who use Windows Vista out there. Well, Google still seems to be working, so that's good news. Let's go ahead and see what we got for this. So I guess they know that I'm a musical artist, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and see if we can load up some tweets from my Twitter account. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, you guys are missing out, I'm telling you. Oh, so we do have that old mobile layout. I'm using an old version of Internet Explorer. I wonder if we can s install... And bro, you guys need to show some love to my tweets, all right? I'm trying to get at least like a million likes per tweet. So if you guys can follow me there, let's see. I'm actually more interested on Instagram. I'm pretty sure this wouldn't show me necessarily too much on the page because it's a lot of photos. So maybe that would be something to it. All right, it's not even loading. Let's see if we can go to Google Chrome and download that actually. And of course they got to show us on Bing. <laughs> and it seems to be that we can actually install Google Chrome on our Windows Vista machine. So that's awesome. And it seems that it's going to take a minute for it to download. So let's go ahead and look at some other things. Now it seems that it's frozen right now. Okay, so when I try to minimize something, I mean, again, I don't know if this is a Windows Vista problem or like the VirtualBox problem, because I know VirtualBoxes aren't that fast, but I still kind of find it weird that Windows XP was so much faster. So we do have some basic things. We have, you know, Internet Explorer, email. We have Windows Media Player. That's pretty cool. I think that was on there before. Windows Font Scan and just a bunch of stuff that I don't know if people at the time used too frequently. Oh, and we got Google Chrome, I think, up, up and running. Okay, I don't know what the heck is happening in the background. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what just happened. So maybe these are the problems that people kept talking about with Windows Vista. Again, this is a virtual box, so it shouldn't be messing up this much. This is pretty much just showing me what another machine would do if it had Windows Vista pre-installed on it. So that's really weird. Okay, so we are talking about all these things. Oh my god, why does this keep happening? So everything only seems to work if I have Internet Explorer open in the background, which is so annoying. Let's go ahead and look at these other apps. So have Internet Explorer, both of them for 64-bit. Windows Calendar, Windows Contacts, different things like that. I'm kind of more interested in the game sort of, but I'm also interested in these specific items right here. So we have pictures, documents, music. Okay, that wasn't there before. Control panel, all these different things. But let's go ahead and just, okay, so the thing's frozen again. I don't understand what is going on. I mean, I'm just trying to install Google Chrome and it seems like it's not even working. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I guess we got Google Chrome installed and everything else seems to be working now. So let's go ahead and see if we can open up Google Chrome. <laughs> Man, this is not looking too good for Windows Vista. And honestly, I was kind of happy to have Windows Vista on here. And I really didn't want to give it a bad rap again in 2019 especially, but it's not looking too good. All right, so we got Google Chrome up. This is pretty much the older layout of it. This computer will no longer receive Google Chrome updates because Windows XP and I'm assuming Windows Vista are not supported. So let's see if YouTube, let's see if we can get on YouTube on this. And I guess we can. All right, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and see the one of the worst YouTubers ever. <laughs> And it seems to be, and 56 minutes, we already got almost like, we got over 1,000 views on that video, that's awesome. Let's go and see if we can play a video through here. And it seems to be like this is playing. Oh, that is awesome. All right, that's kind of weird listening to myself. All right, let's see if, you know, it's actually pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. But as you can see, I mean, you still have capability to, I guess, play videos on YouTube and stuff, which I was not expecting. As you can see right here, this is my Windows XP video, wherever that went. <laughs> this one. And I'll be honest, Windows XP seemed to be running better on this than Windows Vista and I allocated less RAM and I think less memory than Windows Vista, which is super weird. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And of course, all these other things, I mean, I'm sure you guys can mess with them if you want to. Let's go ahead and go open up documents. And this is just a regular file explorer. I'm sure you guys have seen like hundreds of thousands of these already. I'm kind of more interested in that games folder though. Let's see what games they have. I'm sure they'll have like Minesweeper and stuff. Games Explorer. Oh, I think they actually took out those games like Minesweeper and stuff. And they actually made a separate thing. Okay, I think I remember that now. Maybe they did put those other games somewhere. But I do remember something of like they, they took out the games and put them in a different app or something. I really don't even want to open it because it's going to take a year. But the one thing I do want to open is Paint. And I don't know if they made any upgrades to Paint on uh, this version coming from Windows XP. But, you know, I drew you guys last time. So I figured I would just go ahead and draw you guys again. And honestly, this actually looks like a pretty big update from the Paint before. I mean, the features are probably exactly the same. But let me go ahead, like last time, let me go ahead and draw you guys if I can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a self-portrait of you. You know, I'm sure you're watching this video wondering, you know, when I was going to do this. So this is pretty much what you look like right now, okay? So we got your face, we got your eyes, okay? I'm going to draw these in a little bit. We got your hair. Now, I'm assuming you're either a male or female or, you know, if you don't want to disclose, that's fine. So this is you if you have short hair, but this is you if you have long hair. So I'm going to draw the long-haired person. Again, male or female can have long hair, so... 
I'm sure you got a nose, okay? And of course, like last time, you got that Kylie Jenner lip action, so you got thick lips. There's nothing wrong with a little thickness, you know? Okay, that's pretty close. All right, so let's go ahead and do the neck. Let's do the body. And you got little hands. And then you got legs, all right? And then you got feet. And that is pretty much you. That is pretty much what you look like. Now, I'm wondering if you have a different color shirt on. Oh, and I just remember the spray paint thing. I forgot they had this in there, so. Oh, the red is not a good color, though. It does not look good. Let's go ahead and do blue. I'm sure you're wearing like a blue shirt of some sort. So this is pretty much you, you know, that'll be $39 for a self-portrait. I'm expecting that through PayPal. So you guys can PayPal me the money for the self-portrait. That'd be awesome. But I'm actually kind of surprised by the, I wouldn't say like update for paint or even just the absence in, in itself, but more so just the layout and just the update in terms of just the way it looks, you know, and that's what I heard the best improvement from Windows Vista was the way it looked. And, you know, from what I'm seeing, it's a little bit more glitchy than Windows XP. But it seems like the biggest update came with the UI of itself. And I think that's one of the biggest things, you know, when you look at, like I said early on in the video, you know, updates from iOS or Android or anything else, as you get a pretty big refresh of the UI and the way something looks, of course there's going to be bugs and it's not going to work out well. But over time, that's when things become better and better. And look at Windows 7. That is so much better than this. And I'm kind of glad, you know, we had to get through this one in order to get to that one. And again, most of the things on this are pretty basic. So I do want to see if we can play a game like Slitheria, okay? So this game, as you guys know, oh, it actually seems to be pretty, working pretty well. Okay, let's go ahead and do low quality. And let's go ahead and play this thing. Let's see if we can actually get into a game. And it seems to be that we can. And again, this is pretty much allocated to the RAM that we have. And I'm assuming it works pretty well. I'm actually surprised. No glitches or anything like that. And of course, Internet Explorer was not going to be able to play this game because it's outdated. But with Google Chrome, you can get up to a certain version that allows you to watch YouTube videos, that allows you to play games like this. And this isn't that graphically intensive, but it kind of is, man. And I'm surprised it's even running at this level. And it seems to be the same thing with Paper.io. Now, I'm probably going to die in like 10 seconds. Oh, dang it, I knew it. Of course, it is super glitchy, but you can do, I mean, you're still pretty much capable of doing a lot of things with this. Now, I was kind of curious to see if you can do like edit videos, if you can download maybe Adobe, whatever video thing Adobe makes, maybe do it on here. But as you can see, if you have a capable machine, you could still do some things with this. Now, not probably not everything, but you can do all the basics you wanted to. And I don't think this is more so a thing of like, oh, this machine is so bad because it's, you know, not capable of doing too much. I think this machine was bad because of the glitchiness and the bugs inside. And again, that's probably already known to a lot of you guys. But for someone like me, I, I've never really used Windows Vista all too often. So it's kind of interesting to see what the you know big fuss was about with this specific software. And getting first-hand experience is pretty interesting because even me, on this machine, I'm already running into so many problems and I can't believe I just hit that guy out, even though I'm playing this game while talking. <laughs> so all in all, I think Windows Vista was somewhere in the middle. I think it was, you know, not the greatest thing ever, but in my opinion, I think it was important because without this, we wouldn't have gotten in Windows Vista. And the Windows Vista is the one thing that I have probably the most experience with. And even though it's not the best looking thing, even though it's not perfect, it's still kind of a staple in Windows and just operating systems in general, because this really showed as you go and progress and you make so many changes with the UI, things are going to go wrong. And this wasn't the first time it happened. And this is not the last time it's going to happen either. You know, once probably iOS 13 comes out, that's a pretty big UI refresh apparently. So that's going to have tons of problems within it. So again, you can basically apply this to any other thing, but I think Windows XP was solid. It was definitely way more stable than this, but I think this was more so of a stepping stone to get from Windows XP to Windows 7. And that's pretty much it, man. I hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you want me to do an update about Windows 7, that's probably the next in the sake. I could probably do that like next week or something. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see that, but that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, you can also leave those in the comment section as well. Hit that like button, that don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it don't mean so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I really appreciate if you guys could check it out, but more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.